Magu failed to account for interest on 550 billion naira recovered loot. Panel Oladle Kon Adetayo John Alechenu Eniola Akin Kotu Adelani Adi Kwegba and Adi Adi Shomoju. A power presidential panel which investigated the suspended acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Magu, indicted him a report published by the News Agency of Nigeria as alleged. The report, according to Nan, noted that the embattled EFCC boss had been unable to account for the interest generated from 550 billion naira cash recovered from 2015 to 2020. The panel is separate from the panel led by a former president of the Court of Appeal, Justice Ayo Salami, which is currently probing Magu and other top officials of the agency. The chairman of the previous committee was Al Haji Abdullahi Ibrahim, and the member were D. Haji Antoni Agbizi, a member from Federal Ministry of Justice, Mohaledi Dogondaji from the EFCC, Azan Abdullahi from the DSS, an unnamed member from the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, Chinedu Ifediora, from the NFIU, while Mr. Kazim Atitebi served as the secretary. The committee's report, it was learned, became the basis for the setting up of the Salami-led panel. The report titled Final Report of the Presidential Investigation Committee on the EFCC Federal Government Recovered Assets and Finances from May 2015 to May 2020 was obtained by the Federal Government-owned new agency of Nigeria. The report read in part failure to report on the interest on actual lodgements clearly establishes that the interest element of over 550 billion naira has been relooted relating to the period under review this is an apparent case of manipulation of data in a very brazen and unprofessional manner and this has greatly eroded the public confidence in the anti-corruption efforts. The panel said it was quite disturbing that conflicting figures were being circulated in the public space by the EFCC as the amount of recovered funds. It said these inconsistencies cast serious doubt on the accuracy of figures submitted by the EFCC. The committee said it was of the view that the EFCC could not be said to have fully accounted for cash recoveries made by it, noting that there were discrepancies between what the embattled chairman reported and the lodgements the commission made. It added it must be pointed out that the discrepancies of more than 31 billion naira does not include interest accrued in this account since it was opened. It therefore casts serious doubt on the credibility of the figures and means that substantial amount of money has not been accurately accounted for. Nan observed that the report had also confirmed the concern of the public about contradictory recovery figures emanating from Mago. The Presidential Committee on Audit of Recovered Assets revealed 
how the investigative report on EFCC activities by the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit exposed acts of corruption and money laundering against some EFCC officials, including Mago. The report added the NFIU report established that the acting chairman has been using different sources to siphon money from the EFCC. The report has shown that a particular Buria de Change owned by Ahmed Shanono linked to the acting chairman based in Kaduna has more than 158 accounts and has been receiving huge sum of funds. The committee accused Magu of paying a prominent Lagos-based senior advocate 28 million naira. Alleged he acquired 573 million naira Dubai property through Pastor. The panel accused the suspended EFCC boss of using one Pastor Omale to launder funds abroad. Omale's name was uncovered through an investigative report on EFCC's activities by the NFIU. According to the report, the unknown clergy is alleged to have bought a property on behalf of Mago worth 573 million naira in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. As an unknown pastor, the NFIU's report showed the huge movement of fund raging from 573 million. 228,000 naira. The report said Nan also gathered that effort that been intensified to expose the real identity of the pastor with a view to arraigning him for persecution is found culpable. Meanwhile, efforts to reach the said pastor to get his reaction were not successful. Several calls made to his mobile phone were not answered while the next message sent to him had yet be had yet to be replied as of 12:52 a.m. the committee accused the suspended EFCC boss of mishandling the probe of a former minister of petroleum resources Deziani Alison Maduke the suspended EFCC boss was accused of failing to cooperate with authorities in the United Kingdom to facilitate effective persecution of the case. Well, a lot has been said so far, and Nigerians have been of the opinion that none of you looters will go scot free. Let Gaba Shehu continue to whitewash the presidency. Patience is our motto. Their days are numbered when the reign of percussion will fall on them. Well, a lot of things have been said so far. As someone said, this country is a useless country. A lot of things are happen happening and they know about it. They are just trying to suffer the masses. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party on Saturday said Magu said Magu must answer for all his alleged infractions in order to restore public confidence in the anti graft agency. In a statement titled Fraud, Magu must answer for alleged violations, victimization and stealing by its National Publicity Secretary, Kola Ologbodion. The party called on the regime of the President Major General Mamadou Buhari retired not to shield the embattled EFCC chairman, but ensure that he answers for his alleged offenses. The opposition party described him as unfit to lead an agency like the EFCC and reducing it to a partisan organization that engages in witch hunt and thrives on violations of rules, abuse of investigation, of processes, manipulation of court procedures and a vehicle to harass innocent Nigerians. Well, the truth of the matter is that in as much as Nigeria is concerned, everybody is a thief. No wonder the there's this word that says 
ole ni everybody eni le mobani barao. Kombe, that's what they said. Well, my prayer is that God will catch them one after the other, and that is our prayer. Well, that is it, my people. Meanwhile, let me have more takes from you, and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks, and God bless.